Hey guys, and welcome back to Landstriders Terra Firma Punk Server, hosted by Aim to Game Servers. Look down for a link down below if you want to uh, join in the wonders that is hosting a beautiful modded Minecraft pack like this. And today, I have all the wood. All, all the wood. You can see all those pine saplings over there i have literally just cleared out all of those which is amazing there's also a few other things that i've done uh i have taken ZTech's suggestion of putting a door in the back here to save me having to walk around everything i think that's probably a very good idea something i should have done a long time ago we've now got a new chest for the redstone and glowstone uh i've got some food over here you guys knew all about this though and up top, not up top, down below even. I've been um, rearranging these support beams. So it turns out these middle bits were very, very important. Just these uprights were not good enough. Landstrider got hold of me and was like, hey dude, uh, I don't think you quite realise how these work. And I was like, ah, obviously I do not. But today is all going to be about passing these quests. I don't know how many we're going to get done today, but I think we can do a vast majority of what we've got going over here, particularly this one. Um, trying to go get some smooth stone. Let's go and have a look inside our rock collection here. Uh, we've got the smooth. Was it smooth or was it the sort of chiseled that we want? So it says smooth, but I don't believe this actually is labelled as smooth, is it? No, it's normal. There should be some smooth basalt somewhere? No, it looks like I do not have any. So the first thing we're going to have to do... Well, it, actually, I'm going to have to go get rid of all this pine wood. The, the night is coming, so I've got to be a little bit scared as well, because I still don't have a bed, and I will bring you back in the morning where we're going to go find some rock to uh, turn into smooth rock, and then try and rip it down and, and make it into something useful, no doubt. And I think it's just four we need for the quest. Oh man, these take a little bit longer to break than I thought they would. I would have started speaking at the beginning of the breaking of the last one if I had realised quite how long it was going to take. But I think with just a little bit more waffle, we can get to the point we need to be. Now, I think it was four. I really hope it was four. I do make this kind of mistake quite often though, so we will go and have a look. Uh, this one here, it's not this type of rock. Okay, we're going to have to go have a look around. Now, thankfully... I have noticed that the diorite right there happens to spring up in the same places as the hot wells, the hot springs. Now, I do have a hot spring next to mine, but, you know, it's kind of my hot spring. So I'm going to go have a little bit of a look around and see if we can't find one that's a little less important to my overall aesthetic. Well, someone's been digging. Ah, the wide open blue sea. <laughs> it's actually the... Uh, stuff not quite loading in but you know it's across the pond right oh man the rain started but over here we've got rhyolite and i'm not sure if that's part of the list we've got granite or granite diorite and garbo gabo gabro i'm not sure what that is so rhyolite probably doesn't count i'm gonna take some anyway just in case we are we're gonna have a look no it doesn't say anywhere that i've got one out of four mm, that is annoying so I'm back at home, and this is where I spotted the diorite that I thought spawned around here. So it's obviously not quite done what I want. So let's just grab a few of these here. And it's not done what I want off in the other world generation. That That's unfortunate, but it has done it here. So we will grab four bits from this spot. Oh, nearly fell in the water. That's good, that's good, and this is good. Can't do these ones, that's unfortunate. Fortunate. I'm sure it's something to do with the amount of stone that overhangs, or so Landstrider was telling me uh, with my other video that the reason I couldn't change the ones over there was because there was too much, uh, too many uh, blocks above them. Okay, four smooth diorite. I will look in the book, but not until I get inside, because, you know, at night during a rainstorm, that just makes sense. Now, I get to pick one. I'm going to go with the gra granite bricks, because, wow, the, the, I've got so many walls. So many walls. Uh, I don't have any granite, though, do I? No, this is not... Oh, it gave me a wall anyway. Uh, so I don't really have anywhere to put this stuff. Quartzite cobblestone comes out, because that, that does not belong there. Um, smooth rhododite. Is this something I've got? Rubber light, sorry. Uh, no, okay, I'm going to pop this in the corner as well. The granite wall I'm just going to do something with at some point. And diorite actually is in this line here, so let's try and move the clay. The clay can go somewhere else, actually. 
Mm -mm. Fun chest time with Twitchy. Okay, let's see what else we can do here. Uh, it's saying I need to make an oak barrel to finish this. Not an oak barrel, but just a barrel of some description. Now, maybe I've got some... Oh, not, not enough here. Is six enough? No, you need seven. Uh, okay, so let's go and grab my saw. And I think it's time we made ourselves a pine barrel. We've got a, uh, a willow barrel here for standard water and uh, quenching and stuff like that. So we're going to use the pine barrel for something else. I'm not exactly sure what yet, but I'm relatively certain it is going to present something at some point. Okay, a wooden cauldron makes us a barrel. Okay, that should actually... Oh, I needed to make four? Wow, I, that's, that's no problem. I just needed to have uh, crafted up some more logs. Okay, four barrels, which I'm going to put outside to get wet. Uh, one, two, three, why not four right there? Uh, oh no, leave them unsealed. And they should fill up with fresh water. Now what I'm going to do with all this fresh water, I don't know. I, I know there's a lot of fermentation and stuff like that that can be done. So I'll probably end up getting on that. Let's just eat ourselves a sandwich. But that should have been this, this uh, quest completely done. White elm, maple, chestnut or oak? I think we'll go with the white elm because, you know, that's that's what I've already got. Uh, it would have made sense to get some other ones, but I want the I want the saplings, not the wood. I want the saplings, not the wood. Okay, I don't know where I'm keeping these ceramic vessels. Uh, I think somewhere over here for the ease of melting of equipment, but I'd, I'd probably come up with something else for the vessels. Let's open one of these uh, quest bags. I mean, I say that. I've got a lot of quest bags. But let's open this one. Oh, a hoe and some squash. Ooh, I am glad that I opened that very much. Okay, let's go and put this away right next to my actual hoe. And squash seed, hey? Squash seed. Now, we're getting a good collection of seeds up. Uh, a few of them have been, like, doubling up, like potato seed and uh, maize. They've been giving me extra seeds when I harvest them. So that, that's pretty good. I was worried because up until this point, this, this winter, in fact... Uh, these hadn't been giving me any extra seeds. I've just been replacing. Uh, th yeah, that, that had got me a little bit worried that I was going to not be able to expand. Okay, let's have a look to see what next is we're going to do. Uh, milkmaid. The job does not come with a nice stool to sit on. Uh, find a female cow. We're going to have to go looking around there. We did this one. Is this now something we can do? A, a brick oven. A brick oven. So let's have a look. Let's see if it is within realms. I believe all it needs is a chisel, which I've got in my hand, so this should be good. Uh, let's do like so. Rhyolite, basalt, andesite, dacite, granite, diorite, garbo. So it's got to be one of these specific types again. That is a little bit unfortunate. I don't have any of these in cobblestone form, I don't think. So we're going to have to go off on a grand adventure. Oh, I've got basalt. i got lots of basalt. Hang about. Let's, let's do this quick. Um, in here, in fact. Yes, I did get lots of bands. Nearly, nearly made it to a cut. I was just turning around looking for my crafting bench. But of course, it is in my inventory here. When did I clear out my entire thing? Okay, so we made that. Brilliant. It's a good one. It really is. Uh, let's open it up. We've got that. We're going to collect the reward there. But what are we going to get? Uh, I think I'm going to do a fish. Oh, yeah. And because it's cooking, we're going to cook it there. Okay, this looks good. Let's do a quick test. I think we want to do one of those. And I'm going to use the white elm up. Is that good? Is it going to fire? Do I need to use my fire lighter to get it going? Is that something? Yes, that is something. Look at that. Okay, and this is going to all cook up. This, uh, maybe I'm going to cook potato as well. Let's see if that will cook. That will cook. Okay, do I have to keep an eye on it or will it just drop down? We're going to stand here and watch. Not before I put this clay in here. It just seems like a good place. It just seems like a good place. Okay, the warming is happening. We've got a protein and a vegetable. Now, I believe the vegetables decay quicker when they're warm and the proteins decay slower when they're warm. Or maybe that's something I've remembered from Don't Starve. Uh, what taste does this come with? Not sweet, not sour, not salty, not bitter. So they're all not. So it's cooked fish rare. Is it, is it going to drop down? Cooked potato very light. I don't think it's going to drop. I'm going to pull these out now. Oh yeah, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to use my fish as my number three slot and then r r work these down this way. So a potato and fish sandwich. Mm -mm -mm. 
Oh, God. Oh, I'm still wearing the uh, the zombie head. Let's take that off. Oh, guys. Have I just been on a journey? And I mean a journey. Let's uh, take a look. You can see the scale of this island here. And it takes a while to cross this island. Here's the uh, the tetrahydride. And that, that run there was long enough for me to cut it, even when I had a lot of stuff to talk about. Bearing that in mind, I went east. And I kept on going east. And I really did just keep on going east until I got to about here where I was like, oh, wow, food's going to become an issue. Um, like, this is the maximum I can zoom out here. Um, and it's like, we can't see anything. I came down here. There's no no land masses anywhere. But I was trying to find the rocks so that we could do this particular quest here. Diorite, granite, or garbo. Gabbro? Still don't know how to pronounce that. But I have... Uh, that led me to go and search on the TerraFirmacraft wiki, you know, this thing that I don't really like to look at because I prefer bundling my way through it. And it told me that there were many layers of rocks. Well, I say many layers. There are three layers to the rocks. So I dug a great big hole here. Uh, one thing that I have is sticks in abundance. Where I've been, like, trimming all the trees, I have had so many sticks. But notice there's a diorite has been... Uh, is, is up here. Uh, so we go down this way. Now this is going to take a little drop. Ugh. First thing we do is we find a, a rock layer. A stratification happens here. Diorite to fillite. Fillite? Yeah, maybe. Um, so that that was nice. That, that was confirmation that things were going well. But if we get down to the bottom here, if I can just do it without killing myself, waiting for the ladders to drop, we have got fillite on this side. Diorite here. Diorite everywhere around here. I believe I went down a little bit lower and then it swapped to diorite again. Oh no, this is fillite. Here it goes. It changes again. There we go. <laughs> I was like, hang about. I'm sure it changed again. Uh, but this leads me to think that maybe, <coughs> that maybe the next layer down is diorite. Uh, and I will con uh, confirm this by digging further down. But also that I think maybe... These water flumes, these nice uh, hot springs here, actually drag up the type of stone that it has underneath. I like, I don't know how to confirm that or deny that, uh, other than going and uh, digging up some more ponds. Uh, that that kind of seems to be the way. Okay, so we're trying to collect a whole load of these diorite rocks now, just so we can make a few of these up. Hopefully, this is enough to complete the quest. Oh, uh, we need ten. Uh, why is it four of some things, ten of others? It's it's inconsistent. Inconsistent. If I was to ever make a pack like this, I would try and make sure it's uh, nice and intuitive, you know? Because, you know, I, I know all about being intuitive. Okay, is this enough uh, rocks now? I hope so. I just heard a cave in. That was unfortunate as I've put this here. How did, how did that happen? I heard it. Did it fall here? Is this... Is this the wall that fell? I don't know. I can't remember what it was like beforehand. Uh, but there we go. Uh, I am going to pick an egg. Do we throw it and see if we can get a chicken? Or do we have some strawberries? More fish? I'm going to go with more fish, actually. All right. Wonderful. What is next on our line? Have we uh, done the repeatable fish quest? We have not. Uh, we've not even done the boat. I, okay. I know what the next thing is. All right, let's try and do this. If I remember correctly, I should somewhere in here have some string. Oh, that's good. That's good. And then we're going to have loads and loads of sticks over here. Always have loads of sticks. Into my inventory, we should be able to just do this. Yeah. Okay, that's that one done as well. Awesome. We get some wool yarns back. Uh, next up... So it turns out a previous quest was to actually make the fishing rod, which thankfully I've managed to keep hold of in here. Uh, so I think we're going to go outside and have a little bit of a fish. Uh, I've done, been working on the next floor up, and I'm loving this front face. I'm not too sure about using the same types of wood top and bottom, but this green band in between, oh, that's so sexy. Uh, there is a bit I'm having a few troubles with out up here, though. Uh... Not this. This is all looking good, looking solid. You see, we've got these pillars here. Uh, I'm going to uh, replicate that on these, like, skinnier sides. But we've got this nice 3-3 three, three corner here. And on this side, we've got a 3-1-2. And it just kind of feels a little bit unbalanced. Now that I've come up here again, though, I kind of can live with it. Um, it's like in the poles are going to be in the middle, so you're never really going to be able to compare... 
Yeah, no, actually, I think that's all right. All right, let's get down and do some fishing. The, the most fun activity in this game. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be the same in modded Minecraft as well. Do I get in the water? No, let's pop it out there. Oh, do I have to charge it? Yes, I have to charge it. It didn't do a uh, charging action. Oh, got a bite. What do I do? Do I pull it in? We're pulling it in on the bite. Ah, come on, come on. Click, 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 click. Now what do I do? Did I get it? Did I? No? What? <laughs> okay, fishing is different, I think. Okay, let's try this again. Whoop. And see what we get. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do when we get a bite. Do we immediately start pulling in and, and yanking on it? I believe that is the traditional fisherman's way. Ah, Come on. Out you come. Out you come, buddy. Ah, how, right. Did I get a fish? I got a fish. Is that the fish we need? This is the question. That was a little bit more exciting than normal Minecraft. Uh, no. No, it is not the fish we need. Why is it not the fish we need? Okay, it is literally just take this, pop it in there, and pull it out like that. I don't know what we're going to do. Oh. No, is that not it? Any, I said that was it. I don't want to eat this like that. Manually submit it. Ah, there we go. All right, well, every now and then you need to do that. Okay, let's claim that reward of the other fish. Woo! Oh, man, winter's coming, which is a little bit annoying, but, you know, my farm still seems to be turning over at the moment, so that's all good. Not that I don't have the food anyway. I mean, if we come down and have a look in here, like, that's enough food to get me through the worst of winter, I should imagine. Let's just carry a sandwich on me in case. So, the next thing I want to do is get on for a few more of these quests. I want to kind of do this drawing a blank, but this requires paper Thankfully, for coming to this larger vessel, uh, over here I got some reeds as a reward, and I didn't actually claim this, so let's claim that. Oh yeah, that's what it's all about. Let's see what's in this reward bag. A stone axe and an oak sapling. Actually, not the worst uh, rewards that I have received. Uh, another thing I want to do is come into here and grab some sand. I know I've got some around somewhere. Not just for growing the reeds on though that is a major thing that i wish to do where are we going to grow our reeds here just just here just here looks perfect uh in fact i'm not even gonna take away the gravel i'm gonna put those down now i hopefully yes it does work like uh normal minecraft yes cool okay so the next thing i want to do also involves some sand i'm not sure if i showed you guys this finished um next layer you can also see that the next layer has been shoved in that direction uh every layer is getting shoved in a slightly different direction like this one came towards us which it doesn't really stand out not not like this top one that goes sideways because you can see the short end and the long end if i go around this end i'm sure you can see yeah the long end and the short end i'm not sure what this is going to end up looking like i just thought it was a good idea i thought it'd be something to uh, have a go at uh now i believe my fire got completely wiped out here that's okay though that is okay let's uh, roll one of those into my inventory because we're going to come over to the forge here we're going to do that a uh, little bit of fire starting on the go now can we click these up into here we can now is it worth it though is this what we want to do that doesn't go in there either uh the thing that i'm most worried about is it just kind of dribbling onto the floor that that would be worst case scenario right there let's grab another bit of charcoal just in case i do have a and ingot mold in here um but you know we kind of just gotta wait and see what happens we've got some very hot but yeah i'm, I'm gonna wait i'm gonna stand here uh it, we only have to get up to dark red so yeah we're, we're gonna wait oh glass 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 i hadn't even finished my sentence properly when i was saying we're gonna wait okay that's pretty cool uh in fact let's throw the rest of these in here well, who knows when we're gonna need glass I'm so impressed with how quickly they turn over. Now, why did I make all the... What? Swap arrows with... Oh, it's because I've got my bow in my hand. I was like, why are they telling me stuff? Uh, there we go. Glass bottles. Why was I doing that? Well, obviously, because there was a quest to be done. Uh, it's going to give me some soul sand. I really don't know what we're going to do with the soul sand. But I'm sure something will present itself.
You join me down below as I have just a couple more things to do before I wrap up for the day. You can see back to the grind here, what we actually needed was two hand stones. So I'm going to run up here. I will come back down to my hot springs because it's really nice just to chill out in there. Uh, so one quern hand stone. And if we just drag this out and pop that up there, we can get ourselves another one. Now this should hopefully have all this in here. Cool. We're going to get some rice seed and maybe some ooh, rice grain. Why? Why not? Let's do that. Another thing I want to do is just go around and collect a few of these rewards. At some point I got 32 bits of marble rock together. I'm fairly sure I knew no when that happened. Uh, I am going to grab the clay because it seems to be the uh, limited resource around here. I also want to take this charcoal because it will stack with the other charcoal that I've got. I'm also going to get this string and reward bag. Should we check the reward bag? I think it might be nice to get in there and have a look. Copper shovel, granite, small bismuth. I'm actually going to be needing a whole load of bismuth at some point, probably next episode. Uh, so we did this. We can get ourselves a sycamore, birch, spruce or oak. Spruce or birch are the ones I'm missing. I'm going to go with birch. Nice, nice, nice. And then this new uh, lumber one here. We're going to get a pine sapling and uh, what would be... Uh, I'm going to get sycamore because it will stack with the stuff that I've already got. Whilst we are on this claiming quest rewards tip, let's uh, go through and do a few of these. Going to get some clay and... Ooh, I don't... I have an olive and I have a peach. I don't have a plum. Uh, I've been getting these off of the tree ants that drop from leaves when you've been, um, like crooking them. Uh, the copper ingot mold. We're going to just grab that. Nice and simple. Got ourselves an anvil. We're going to get a peat, a full heart, an iron nugget and a scythe. Because that's actually what I need. Uh, whilst we're in the middle of doing all this, full heart bump. Uh, ooh, I'm going to be running out of room soon. Let's put the quern base back. Why isn't my health going up in the hot spring? I'm not entirely certain. I'm going to put that there and ooh... I was going to put this one in here, but I'm not sure where. Okay, let's take these charcoal bits and put them away. In fact, I'm not going to drag you through my chests. Okay, so that's uh, everything out of my inventory. After much perseverance, I've managed to do this willow sapling now. I found them all in the chest. Uh, I am going to, again, grab the scythe blade because, you know, that's kind of important to me to help me get all these leaves. Uh, I also have done this somehow. Okay, that's pretty good. I didn't realise that this was a thing that we'd done. Uh, copper plate or smashed copper. I think we'll go for the copper plate. That sounds like I'm leapfrogging technology a little bit there. For these... Uh, Tools, I'm going to grab... Oh, oh. Mmm. I think I'm going to go with the rubber sheet. I have literally no idea which one would be the best there. And, of course, this tools, we're just going to grab the reward bag. Shall we have a look what we got in our reward bags? Uh, we've got tool rack, birch fence gate, birch support beams. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, axe, maple seed. Ooh, maple was uh, on about needing that. And another reward bag. So, oh, right, here's the reward bag. Let's have a look. An acacia door, gooseberry bush, and a daisy. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. What a jaunty hat I have there. I will see you next time. This is not even my real hat. This is just like one in here. I will see you next time when we're going to do a whole load of probably blacksmith smithing stuff uh, i want to also do a whole load of more of uh the other quest line this survivalist quest line and eventually we will move on to clockwork and stuff like that but yes i will see you then when we're gonna do all that bye this hat <laughs>